What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings TNT, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current karmic energy for the collective. Please give me clear and accurate messages. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the emails, the bookings. I appreciate you guys for all of the love and the support you show to me in the channel. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for all of the love and the support. I appreciate you. All right. So let's get this current karmic energy for the collective. All right. Current karmic energy. Okay, so they wanted to come out. All right, so we have a psycho that has mental health concerns. This person could be a man abuser. All right, yeah, stuck and stagnant. Yeah, this person could be very shady and, and shit like that. Okay, in a situation. So let's get into this, this person here, this psycho. Okay. What's going on, spirit, with this energy? This psycho, mental health concerns, man abuse, and stuck in stagnant. Somebody could be stuck with a psycho that abuses them. Okay? Is what I'm seeing here. Somebody could be scared of somebody or something like that. Yeah, sun card. That just flipped out. Alright, let's see. What's going on, Spirit, with this energy? So we got the Sun card. Then we got the Lovers and Tower. Yeah, I feel like that somebody always try to see the bright side of things and the connection. But I'm seeing that this could end in a death if somebody is not careful. Because somebody is really dealing with somebody that's not mentally right. And somebody keep trying to heal shit with somebody that this is like their energy, you know, on the inside, okay? And I feel like that somebody, they always try to come to this person and offer something, like try to act like that they in a better energy, but they're not, okay? This is just, yeah, King of Pentacles. What else? Full card. Yup, bottom of the deck, we have King of Wands. So yeah, I'm seeing with this current karmic energy, like somebody is with somebody. I'm just feeling like somebody could be scared of somebody and they just feel stuck with the person. But I feel like that somebody know that they made a foolish risk, okay? So, or somebody about to get that kind of energy that they did, that they made a foolish risk. Okay? What I'm seeing here. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun, spirit. All right, judgment. Yeah, two of pentacles. I feel like that divine scene, what this person did, I feel like this person's about to get judged for it. And I feel like this person's gonna go through a tower, some kind of tower. Somebody may end up in jail because some things may occur. The neighbors may get involved in this situation and somebody's going to end up in jail or something like that. And I feel like that this is going to give somebody a way to um, get away or something like that. When somebody go to jail or something. Clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. Yeah, two of cups. Like somebody really loved this person. Knight of Pentacles. They could have been with this person for a long time and stuff like that. I'm hearing something about a photographer. Okay, I'm hearing something about a photographer. Okay.
Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Three of wands. Yep. Seven of swords. I feel like that somebody... Let me get one more before I say something. Give me one more on this tower. Ace of wands. Ten of wands. So I'm seeing that somebody could have seen somebody pleasing themselves to somebody's picture. Somebody could have caught somebody pleasing themselves to somebody's picture. And that could have really pissed them off. And there could have been like an argument that broke out. Okay, in a situation. Clarify King of Pentacles. Devil. Ten of Wands again. Yeah, I feel like that this is an addiction of someone's husband. Okay, somebody, um, you know, they could have a sex addiction or something like that. And when they don't get enough sex, you know, they they look at people or they eyeball other people or they find somebody else to, um, you know, please themselves to or something like that. This could be an addiction that somebody could have. Okay, clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. Yep, Knight of Wands, the Fool card, Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like that somebody could have made a risk to do like some kind of one night stand or something like that. And it was a bad risk. Excuse me. It was a bad risk. So this is giving me, there's two people in a relationship. One person could be like a psycho this person could have like some kind of mental health issues of, of some sort but this masculine could have a situation where they like you know they cheat they go out here they they could have like you know they love sex and stuff like that so this is giving me a situation where this this person that somebody could be with that have these mental health concerns this person could have found out or could have seen something with somebody doing something to someone's picture or they was pleasing themselves. They could have been shocked about who they was looking at or what they found in a situation. And it could have been a fight that broke out in a situation. All right? Is what I'm seeing here. This could have something to do with a celebrity. Okay? Is what I'm seeing here. And somebody could be even somebody could have had even like if they uh pleasing themselves they also could have did like a one night stand because somebody they may feel like that somebody is not giving them enough sex somebody is not giving them enough interaction as far as that go and somebody is like no nah, well i'm gonna have to go off somewhere else then because i still need my shit okay i still need to to get my rocks off and all this other shit but somebody is staying stuck to somebody though like this connection don't make no damn sense, okay? <laughs> Mature woman. All right, what else, spirit? This energy, distant horizons, and we have message. So I'm seeing for some of you guys, this could be a person. Um, if this person is like cheating on somebody or something like that with somebody, this person do not live where somebody lives. This could be like an online thing for some people okay that somebody could do and if this person do go visit somebody when they go out of town and they be saying that they going out of, going out of town for work they be going out of town and see this person here okay they be going out of town and see this person you have something with 36 okay 49 somebody could be 42 43 or something like that but somebody could have an addiction and i'm just seeing that somebody is just staying stuck in the situation i feel like that the reason why this masculine is staying stuck because 
somebody some people like this toxic shit okay some people like the arguing the fighting the getting back together the breaking up the all this shit that people go through um some people just stay in connections like this i don't understand it but you know to each his own but this is giving me a connection that two people are staying together and it's just really really not healthy okay this could be us uh, with the king of pentacles being out here that's money so this is a situation where somebody could be with somebody because somebody could be very successful in a business, okay? Or somebody is just successful, period. But this person has addictions, okay, that they get out here and they do, okay? That's just what I'm seeing. And this person, they be messaging this person that don't that don't stay by them. They be messaging this person and everything. They really fuck with whoever this other person is. Something with a Leo. We got Gemini. Okay, we got Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries. Strong Aries energy. Capricorn, Cancer. Okay. So, yeah, y'all. Big feet, face tattoos, accent, a fake ass emperor that love wearing fur coats. Somebody can have gap teeth, white socks. We have 50s, short eyelashes, chains, and singer. We have dark hair. Somebody could smoke marijuana. We have house somebody could live in. Dark liquor. This is an engagement. Somebody could also be, this could be an engagement that somebody could be in with somebody and they could be regretting the engagement. Hoodie lover. Independent contractor. 80s. Aquarius. Short, straight hair and scary movies. Flip-flop lover. Pills. Beer. Lip piercing. Left hand. Boxers. Somebody could have a sleeve tattoo. Yeah, somebody tatted the fuck up, okay? We have Leo. We have Mechanic. Perfumes in our colognes. Somebody could be chilled as fuck. We have a secret society. Jordans. <clears throat> Cotton panties. Somebody could love. Yeah, somebody could have went to the doctor. And now somebody got to wear cotton panties. Okay, this could be an STD too. I'm hearing another STD. So this could be a situation, a connection where somebody is always doing dumb shit and always infecting the person that... What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-uh. Okay. Janitor or housekeeper. Separated. Foreign. Printed tops. Truck. Fake empress. Okay. So somebody is dealing with a fake ass empress or a fake ass emperor. All right. This is a fake ass energy somebody is dealing with. Somebody is taking care taking care of and spoiling the wrong motherfucker. Okay. And I feel like that somebody is getting different signs about this situation too. That they need to listen to. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody needs to go far, far away from somebody. Okay, like far, far away. Like somebody keep fucking with somebody that keep making their pH balance be off. Like what the fuck? Keep fucking with the same person. They keep doing the same shit. This is a very toxic, like couple like situation yo all right we have leo
Somebody could be an RN or used to be Aquarius. Like, this is giving me, like, mm -hmm, y'all. What's some crazy shit? I'll tell you that. Aries. So we have 84, 82, 28, 24, 48, 42. February 2nd, February 8th, February 4th, February 28th, February 24th, August 8th, August 2nd, August 4th, August 28th, August 24th, April 4th, April 8th, April 2nd, April 28th, and April 24th. Okay. I'm here in Monica. I'm here in Monique. Okay, somebody could have like some kind of rose tattoo on them, like a big ass rose on their left leg or something. Okay, something about a big ass rose tattoo. Okay, something with high low. I'm hearing something with high low. I'm hearing Naomi. Naomi. I'm hearing uh, Leon, Leon. I'm hearing Los Angeles. Okay. I'm hearing something about a wolf. Wolf. I'm hearing wolf. Okay. So just apply that as you see fit. Okay. I'm hearing Simone. Okay. I'm hearing Ron. I'm hearing Roy. Roy. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm seeing horny. Okay. <laughs> I told you. So this is somebody that be staying horny. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. This is somebody that stayed damn horny. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> horny is out here. So this is somebody that stayed horny. Okay, something with New York. Okay. Like, I'm also feeling like some denial energy in this too like denial somebody could be in denial about a situation somebody could be even embarrassed that they are even going through this and you know sometimes people don't want to like you know say anything or you know nothing at all you know some people could just be very embarrassed you know of even like going through this okay i'm hearing lorraine i'm hearing lori Lori or Lorraine. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.